Divan. Uh, warning, you don't want to buy what we're selling. This comes from the New York, the New York Times is uh, best 1000 movies ever made list, but I don't see one, uh, which doesn't mean much if anything, if I don't see it, it's not because it's not there, but just because I'm losing <laughs> eyesight, I need to look for glasses and then um, I need stronger ones soon. Mm, there is an amalgam here. There is a combination of the absurd, for instance, which is not uh, a genre I like, so that's one reason, maybe the main reason why I don't buy the stuff they're selling. I'm just of course. Um, after all, the founder, allegedly, the itself theater comes from here. And furthermore, he shares the name of yours too, Eugene Ionesco. Well, Ionesco for the French Ionesco would be uh, Johnson. <laughs> join here. So, pretty common. We don't have anything uh, between us a uh, relationship. Anyway, uh, rhinoceros. You look outside and you see rhinoceros on the street, right? I don't get that. <laughs> Again, I'm just... Yeah, of course I get, uh, especially now, rhinoceros. Rhinoceros is in the Kremlin, as in a strange, bizarre beast. Uh, uh, rhinoceros are wonderful animals and we humans kill them. So, um, it's just a question of villain, uh, scum, to use his uh, vocabulary. He said the opposition is scum and they will be spit up like a fly which entered the mouth of the people. And the people listen to him. I'm, I'm going very far off, uh, trying to return. So, I was talking absurd and then the thought of this war uh, came in, as always, these days. Um, so, um, there is a diva, huh? the name, uh, soprano, uh, singer, with a beautiful voice. Uh, we start with that. She has an admirer, a young man who works at the boss office. Uh, she's black, he's white. That's not, I mean, that would be something good in the world. Which is not terrible, I'm not saying I can't. Be. It's something probably better said, which you need to, to have a, a shared frequency with. To be able to understand, to be more sophisticated than uh, erudite, uh, knowledgeable, lover of fine arts, fine music, which I mean, opera. Went to the opera maybe twice, two, only 16, I mean, and bored to death. I mean, yes, that we did. Well, on areas, it was. Uh, Aida, that thing. By the way, his, his name is Puccini, the Red Russian. Blue and yellow. Ukraine is Balzac. Paying some attention. So he does that. Um, so there would be a need for that, I guess. She has an admirer, okay, and he's taping. Uh, her performance, which she doesn't like, uh, she's against recordings, and it will come to the point where uh, impresario or agent, look, this this there's a, a an illegal pirate recording of you out there, 
we need to do something, you have to record with a record company. No, but, but you see, they will then sell this and flood the black market and everything. You, you get nothing, and still, music will be out there. Um, then there are some bandits who try to get this to make money from, from this. Um, which again is on the bizarre side. It, it's also true we're in an age when you get so much, uh, and, uh, especially if you want to listen to classical music. I think you have for every channel, YouTube, and that's all on television. So you get wonderful music, the versions you want. Um, I mean, unless, of course, you are really a lover of that kind of thing, go to the concert. Where the pandemic ended, now you can empty. Let's start doing things there. Um, so, there's that, but back how many? 40 years ago? Maybe not. It was a different situation, so. It's that that we lost. Well, I did feeling of that situation, and then it's, it's, I, well, I don't know what it is. We mainly this in a file, which didn't really like this movie, but it doesn't mean the movie is not wonderful. <laughs>